Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I hope you've been enjoying the videos over the last few weeks. Uh, the Wednesday Q&A videos are ongoing, so keep your questions rolling in for that. Let me know if there's a specific video you'd like me to make. Videos are Monday and Wednesdays. If you want to be notified, subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you'll know when new videos are being uploaded. In today's video, we're gonna wind the clock back a little bit in case you don't know what this channel is all about, what I teach, we're going to talk about eczema basics, what I believe eczema is, and what's the basic protocol that my clients follow to heal their skin. So I guess the first thing to know about my protocol is I don't believe that eczema is skin deep. I believe eczema starts way down in the depths of your body and that it's a sign that something is out of balance or not quite right in your body, deep within you, and that is usually to do with your digestive system. I'd say nine times out of 10, this is to do with your liver, kidneys, your lower intestine, or your, your small intestine. And when you can learn what that is, and you can put it right, and you can detoxify your body so that your digestive system is working well again, your eczema goes away. The reason why you have eczema on the surface of your skin when you have a digestive issue is if your regular digestive system is overtaxed, overworked, clogged, then your skin takes over as a digestive organ, as a elimination organ. So it helps you to remove toxins from the body that can't make their way out using the usual route. So if your kidneys or your liver are not doing their job quite right, then your, your skin takes over and you get elimination through the skin. So eczema is the visual representation of a toxic body. It's, in many cases, literally toxins exiting the body visually through your skin. The way in which I've seen people healing over the last few years as I've been working with people is there's a triangle of three things. There's detoxification, nutrition, and sustainability. And it's this triangle, it's this balance that you have to get right. You have to get this working so that your body can be in the detoxification state long enough and be in the building phase long enough from the nutrition and having sustainability for both so that you can go through the process long enough so that your body actually heals. I, I come across a lot of people that they understand a bit about detoxification and so they get into fasting or they understand a bit about nutrition and so they adopt a plant-based diet and, and those things are great but You've got to get the whole protocol that you choose into a sustainable state. And that is what I help people to do. One of the first shifts that we make on the healing protocol is a shift towards a whole foods plant-based diet. Why? Because these foods are so much easier to digest, much less taxing on the body, easier for the digestive system to handle, higher water content, higher antioxidant, higher nutrition in general, we also increase hydration and try to decrease stress overall on the body. We also encourage people to get more and more active, sweating as much as possible, getting in the sunshine as much as possible, pumping the lymphatic system because that helps elimination. It helps natural detoxification. We also encourage moving away from chemical-based products for either topical or, or ingested medicines and that sort of thing tend not to be conducive for long-term sustainable healing. Crucially though, one of the things to bear in mind is this is not just an adjustment towards a vegan diet. It's so much beyond that. It's If you're trying to heal from a disease, this is not the same thing as just adjusting your diet to try and improve the planet or get more environmentally friendly. This is a detoxification protocol and it can be invasive. It can be costly to other areas of your life, you need to be willing to make some time and energy investments if you are going to go down the track of natural permanent eczema reversal. This isn't something that you can just do by the side of whatever else you're choosing to do with your, right, with your life right now. It might be something that completely uproots your life as you know it. And if you really want to heal, you need to be willing for that. So let me know if you've been following this protocol for a while, if you've been looking at these videos and vibing with what I've been saying. I'd love to hear if you are getting good progress with your skin from doing these things. 
Um, maybe I'll make some more videos, maybe step two on the Eczema Basics uh, next Monday. Um, Wednesday will be a Q&A video, so if you want me to answer your questions, please send them to me at info at or DM me on Instagram. We'll see you then.